Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, I'm cooking something I have never cooked in my entire life before. Uh, we're cooking lamb, uh, more specific, uh, lamb chops and some lamb steaks. Uh, we're going to grill them, so if that sounds good, uh, y'all hang out and uh, I'll get the grilling. Hey y'all, before I get to cooking, uh, I want to thank Steve and his wife. Uh, they're the ones that actually gave me these uh, lamb, lamb steaks and chops. Um, I've never ever cooked them before. Uh, did some research on the internet. Uh, found out that uh, they're, they're kind of like a wild game meat. Uh, they will absorb the flavors of, the, of what they've eaten in their environment. Uh, so it's best to marinate them. So I looked up a bunch of different marinades, uh, kind of come up with my own. Uh, one set we have uh, balsamic vinegar, garlic, minced garlic, olive oil, a little salt and pepper. The other one um, what is a white wine vinegar. Uh, yeah, white wine vinegar, minced garlic, salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. Uh, the common thread on all the marinades or the soaking uh, was vinegar. Uh, some had apple cider vinegar, some had white vinegar, balsamic, red, you know, all, I mean the whole gamut of vinegars. So um, that was the common thread and olive oil. So uh, like I said, never cooked these before, never cooked lamb before. Um, and the, uh, the consensus on the internet was uh, grilling or smoking. So. Um, I didn't want to take the time to smoke them. I love the grill, so we're going to cook them on the grill. So let's uh, get over to the grill and get these things going. All right, y'all. Here's our lamb chops. Um, these are like more of a, these are the actual chops. Um, I just, I marinated them in uh, balsamic vinegar, garlic, olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, Basically the same thing with these these chops here. Um, these are more of a you know they're not like a regular chop chop. They're a steak. Um, these have white wine vinegar, uh, garlic powder or I'm sorry, garlic, minced garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper. Yeah, that's all I put on that one too. So um, the only difference between the two is the vinegar. Uh, this is. Uh, balsamic vinegar this is white wine vinegar so all right let's get these out get them on the grill and uh, we'll get to cooking all right y'all I got the grill all warmed up so let's, uh, let's get some of these steaks on here oh yeah love that sizzle Grab our little coffees here. Stick those kind of down in the middle of this stuff. Oh, alrighty. Everything's on, so now we just gotta cook. Alright, y'all, it's been about five minutes. Whoa, we've got flamage. Probably that olive oil. Oops, sorry for taking the eyes around.
We got a little, a little charred, but I think we'll be okay. Turn the heat down a lot more on these things. All right. Well, it's cooking for a little longer. All right, y'all. Uh, I was warned that the, the uh, lamb is real greasy, and you can see it. It is really greasy. So um, I've checked them with the thermometer. They are at 165. So they should be done. Um, hope I didn't ruin them by getting them charcoal, but I like my stuff well done. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off here, and uh, we'll do our little tasty test. All right, y'all. Uh, we're back in the kitchen. Got these off the grill, so I'm gonna cut one up so we can do our taste test, but. Seems good and tender. A little bit of bone down there. Like I said, I did check it with the uh, thermometer. They were warm. Cooked all the way through, I should say. Not warmed all the way through. So, alright. I mean, that, that's good and tender. I mean... I can. That's the uh, that's the actual chop. Let's get this. Uh, I guess it's like a shoulder steak by the shape of the bone and stuff. So. Oh yeah, that looks. That looks fairly good. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. They're cooked all the way through, so. All right, let's turn the camera around and uh, we'll actually do our taste test, taste test. All right, y'all, we got our lamb chops here. And the first piece I'm gonna try is one of the actual chop chops. Y'all, I'll have another piece. Mmm, that's delicious, y'all. Like I said, I've had lamb before. Wasn't a real huge fan of it. It was greasy. It was, it was actually a roast. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, grilled with that uh, balsamic vinegar and garlic. It, I mean, it doesn't have an overpowering taste of the vinegar or the, or the garlic or anything. It's just there, but the taste, the, the flavor of the meat, ooh. So, let's taste a piece of that blade steak. Mmm. That's really good, too. Different flavor with the white wine vinegar. Um, I could actually taste that a little bit more, but it's good. It has a really good flavor to it. So much so, I'm going to have another bite. Mmm. That's some good stuff there, y'all. I'm a fan. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it, man. Um, we did a little trade action. I looked at one of his vehicles for him. He gave me some lamb. They raise them. And they butcher them. So, that's awesome. Um, barter system is the greatest way. So, all right, there y'all have it. Um, grilled lamb. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of grilled lamb. My well, poet didn't know it. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. If you would hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, maybe, or if you're a fan of lamb, hit the bell, ring the bell, get us notifications. Of everything we do here, and uh, leave me a comment. Uh, see if you let me know if you guys like it or not. Let me know if you're gonna try it. Um, there are butchers out there that have lamb. Um, I've seen it. All over the place. Uh, I don't know if the grocery stores have it. Probably not. Maybe sometimes a year, but um, yeah. Um, find you a butcher. Find you some lamb. Marinate it up. Throw it on a grill. Um, I bet you'd be really, really good smoked. 
Um, I do have a roast up in the uh, freezer. We may uh, kind of marinate that up and do a little rub on it and take it over to Brother Bear's and uh, throw it in his pellet grill smoker. And, uh, that would be, I think that would be really, really good. So, anyways, y'all, love y'all, and as always, bear appetite.